Warning, the following contains graphic content and language some may find offensive. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to another edition of Salt Lake Outdoors, Africa. Unfortunately, this will be the last regular entry of our 2022 Africa Safari series. However, based on questions and comments we've received from viewers like you, we've decided to fill a supplementary episode detailing the gear, gadgets, and guns that you're gonna to need to successfully pull off a trip to Africa. It's gonna be catered to those who don't know what quite to expect or what to bring on their trip. In this episode, my PH Hannes and I head out in search of free range fallow deer. Unfortunately, we're without a cameraman for this episode as Mike got a bit of a stomach bug and has been handcuffed to the toilet for the better part of two days. We did the best we could. We even saddled Unadi, our tracker, with camera gear in hopes that he could help us pull it off. And yet, before anybody says anything in the comments, I do realize there's some shit on the lens and it's a little blurry at spots, but, you know, hard to fly back five or 6,000 miles just to redo some footage. Well, and as far as the hunt's concerned, we had a little bonus. We like to call it Take what Africa gives you. And as always, thanks for watching and hit us up in the comment section and let us know what you think. And with that said, here we go. day of the trip and we're uh, we came to a uh, came to a farm about an hour away from Hunters Hill it's actually a, uh, a stock bull breeding program here and um, we're actually hunting fallow deer and uh, well we ran into something a little strange that you don't often see and decided to make a play on it This is going to be a wild ass gas, by the way. The right one? No. One shot.
front. Let him get settled. We were able to sneak up. I think we uh, we got 201 was the, the final range, seven degree down angle. I pre-dialed, pretty good group of them. We actually sat here for, it felt like about an hour, but it probably wasn't any more than about 10 minutes. And uh, waiting for the big ram, we picked him out, waiting for him to clear. And uh, finally he did, and I put it right on his shoulder and drilled him. So well let's go take a look at him. What do you think? Let's go. That's an old guy too. Very, very old. How about that? <laughs> about that? Absolute giant, huh? Cool cat. Look at that mass. Wow. Look at the, you know, curling all the way back. Like a big, if you take it, yeah, big range. It almost it's got, big. almost a hollow feeling here yeah, too. Yeah, almost like Jim's back, you know? Yeah. Mm. Very hard, of course. Freaking bases. <laughs> you can't even look get to. Look how long these tips are. Yeah. Yes, he's sick. Yeah. Look at this here on the front legs. So cool, man. Huh? That is such a cool animal. Yeah. Free, free range barbary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Well, they are yeah. they are native to Africa, though, so. I think North Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Barbary Coast. Yeah. So, not not native to, to South, South, but. Okay guys, so it's day 10, um, so we're in the Staxerum area, we came to a sheep farmer, which has got a, a lot of fallow deer. We're looking for fallow, and um, we've, I must say we've really spotted a lot of game on this farm, it's a cattle farm, we've seen some jackal, mountain reed bucks, some vol, and um, yeah, then we came into this nice basin where we looked over, and um, we saw these these barberies, uh, one or two phone calls. And that was on the menu. Yeah, <laughs> it happened quick. <laughs> it's one of those that uh, we didn't plan to do it, but because it happened, we took the opportunity, which I'm really grateful for. We shot a beautiful, beautiful ram. Um, yeah, it was about 201 yards, mm -hmm. and uh, we were we were on on him for quite a while. So yeah, Sean. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, that's the we're going back to the you know take what Africa gives you. Yeah. So we're you know like you said we're out hunting fallow deer this morning. And it's a beautiful morning, light breeze, super clear. We're glassing all the basins and we're seeing lots of fowl and other animals. And we, like you said, we come over this little rise and look down and oh shit, there's Barbary sheep there. We didn't know. So this is a, this is a low fence farm. This is not high fence. So everything here is free range. And the, the last thing I expected to find here was a Barbary sheep. Um, and I've, I've always thought they were magnificent. Um, you know, Jess killed one last year when she was here and hers is, is just really cool. And, and I've always kind of had the hankering, but to, to be able to hunt one free range is, Very is special. yeah. And we got close to, I mean, it was, the terrain worked out perfect for us where we could get right over. I got prone and, um, yeah, we got within 200 yards, um, slight down angle, not enough to worry about really put it behind his shoulder, straight pass through heart, broke the shoulder on the way out, super ethical. He bucked once and then he was straight down. So. But yeah, we, we were on him for a long time. You yeah. know, we just couldn't, there was a group of, I don't know, eight to 10. And we just, uh, it was easy to see who the biggest ram was for sure. There's a couple of rams in there and this guy towered over the rest of them. But uh, just to get him to clear, to make a safe shot so we didn't, you know, injure another animal mm -hmm. in the process is what we were looking for. And then, you know, after what felt like an hour sitting there on the rocks, <laughs> prone, he finally moved out and uh, touched it off and he went, oh, about five yards. Yeah, yeah. But no. talk, talk about a perfect shot. I mean, you absolutely perfect in behind the shoulder and it just came out on the on the, on the um, right hand shoulder just in front there absolutely perfect i mean yeah i've uh and i, I was kind of jealous of jess's yeah you because know, i've kind of always wanted one and just yeah. got one last year and um to have the the opportunity to come here and and hunt one with you um just spurred it like just happened just yeah. happened upon him is really cool um that's how it works so when you sometimes you have a plan and it works and sometimes you don't have a plan and cool shit happens exactly. and, and today was today was that kind of day but 
Yeah, and these these animals are native to to, to northern Africa, and uh, they actually do really good in these mountains here where we're hunting. So um, I've never seen one free range before. I was actually like I was shocked. I didn't, didn't know that actually existed. So, but man, I couldn't be be more happy. And it's a super start to the morning, and it's our last day. So yeah. we think we'll try to go get something else in the salt. Yeah, let's go get a fella. I've seen a big stag there, so let's go get him. That's wacky. Well done, sure. <laughs> I'll get this stuff on us, go ahead. Well, we're still out at the, the cattle farm. Had a successful morning uh, with Barbary sheep first thing, and we have put some miles on today. It's, uh, in this place here, it's just open country. It's like speed go country. You can see forever, and that's the problem. The animals can too. Before this last stop, we'd already put on 3.7 miles, and we probably just added another one or two. All right, so last day of our last day of our hunt, and um, we had a pretty good bit of success. First thing this morning, got real lucky with a uh, free-range Barbary sheep, big male, um, and we were here at this farm specifically hunting for fallow deer, also free-range. And we'd seen this guy earlier in the day, and um, we fought and fought and fought and fought. Uh, the last before the last stalk, we'd already stalked 3.7 miles, so I imagine now it's closer to five after this one, and we just could not get in the range. This place is so flat and open here; it's almost impossible to get close to these things. But we managed to get us close. I think uh, I think 
we harness used the terrain in kind of a shelf to get, uh, I think the first shot was 100 yards, something like uh, that. 160. 160 on the first shot. And then uh, the second shot was a couple, uh, couple hundred, two and a half maybe. Um, turns out it wasn't needed. We weren't sure. Um, Hannes initially called a, a no hit on the first shot. And as the group was running away, we kind of saw him step out of line and just kind of start slowing way, way down and moving away and everything else kept going. And um, I went ahead and put another one in and it dropped when we got here. It looks like the first shot was absolutely perfect. It was double long. He was going to expire anyway, but instead of letting him suffer, we went ahead and put him down. So, uh, but man, this trip, just one after another, after another, after another, you keep just hitting home runs. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, we we should stop while we're <laughs> while we're ahead. Exactly. Man, this trip has been. I don't know what else to say. I mean, the the rifle shot great the entire trip. Um, Thomas put us on great animals. Got with local farmers. You know, working with your your when when groups of PHs come together and able to work together and share intel and and share their their secret spots. It it really makes a difference. Um, and and it shows in the quality of this animal too. You know that. And I know some of the other PHs have been chasing this particular guy now. And unfortunately, we beat him to it. <laughs> uh, doesn't hurt my feelings. But sorry, Grant, if you ever watch this, I apologize. I'll try not to shoot the big one next time. And shit, Grant, that's. Too Two times this trip, Grant. Yeah, Grants, yeah. I must Grants. say, he's been really helping us a lot, you know. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> just from from me, you know, as we are getting closer to the end, you know, to, we've we've had some fantastic animals, and uh, yeah, it's just been so much fun, you know. And even with this animal just coming over the ridge and you know just spotting him below us, and and when we spot them or when the tracker spot them, we only saw two or three. When we got closer and we finally took the shot at this this big stag, I mean, it's just like. 20 of them just popped oh, out yeah. of there out of nowhere. Yeah, I had no idea. And, um, you know, it's been really fun and uh, enjoyable. The gun's been fantastic. I love that gun. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Sean. Yes, yeah, so. Thanks, thanks to you. Um, yeah, thanks for coming here. And, you know, what we've done here, taking these animals on free range properties, um, it, it's going to add value to those farmers and that will uh, make sure they look after them and, and preserve them, you know. And, that's a good thing about hunting is, is it's, it's, it's conservation and it's, it's helping these animals and breeding them and, and, and making sure there's, there's going to be plenty of them for the future. So that's why hunting is so important. And yeah. thanks, thanks for supporting our country. And, you know, like if you just take these guys standing down the cameras yeah. and stuff, you know, all of them, it makes a big difference for all of us, you know. And yeah, no, I absolutely. Guys, yeah. No, and, and we, we enjoy coming and, and we understand what goes into it. And this is, this is part of it. I mean, there's... Uh, this is probably one of the few places left in the world that you can, you know, actually hunt a free range fallow deer. Yeah. Um, you know, in the States, it just doesn't happen. And there's only a couple of spots left that you can actually do this and, and be able to have, you know, somewhat of a successful hunt and, and get a big mature stag. And yeah. we've done it now two years in a row. <laughs> so, and this one looks considerably different than the one, than the one we hunted. Yeah, the one we shot the previous time. So, man, I'm tickled. I don't know. We, I, I don't know what I'll say. This has been just a fantastic trip. It started off great. It's ending great. Um, I know my ass is worn out right now <laughs> and hungry. Yeah, what do you yeah, think? Go no. back, go back to camp and get something to eat. Yeah, I know. Mark, Mark, uh, I let him know he must keep us some lunch out. So yep. we'll probably be in about an hour. So I can't wait for that lunch. Perfect, man. Yeah. Once again, thank you. Appreciate Absolute it. Pleasure. Well done. All right, so we just came off the the mountain. We came down below to the farm, and we're uh, we're gonna gut the fallow deer and give the liver and heart, or liver, heart, liver, and lungs. heart liver, and lungs yeah, to uh, uh, local. The guy that works in the farm. Yeah, the yeah, local farm the guy workers, yeah. here that went with us this morning and and showed us around the place. Um, apparently it's fantastic to eat so once again in Africa nothing goes to waste absolutely nothing of these animals but uh, it's a uh, it's pretty cool to see that but so we can give back a little bit too it's pretty pretty cool pretty good feeling to be able to do that
One last lunch. One last lunch, yeah. Hey, thank you very much for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was such an awesome hunt. We put on a ton of miles, but it was absolutely worth it. Unfortunately, that's a wrap for this year's trip. But fortunately for us, we're hunting again in Africa next year. And this time we're going to Namibia, where I'm gonna continue my pursuit of the Tiny Ten and chase some really unique animals that aren't available in South Africa. We are absolutely not sponsored. The gear, gadget, and guns that we use in our videos, we use because we like it and we stand behind those things. They've been field tested for years and they perform fantastic. Likewise, these hunts are personally funded. We get absolutely no special deals, no discounts, no free hunts. Everything is paid 100% out of our pockets. We pay exactly what everyone else does. We do this because we enjoy bringing you this content. And if you enjoy the content we're sharing with you, you can absolutely show us your support by hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and smashing that notification bell. We'd like to thank Hunters Hill Safaris and Mr. Greg Harvey for taking such good care of us again this trip. You can reach out directly to Hunters Hill at the address below. I'll also put a link in the description. And to my PH Hannes, thank you for all the hard work you put in in the months leading up to the trip and for keeping that same level intensity for nearly two weeks while we were in country. And also for putting up with Mike's and my dumb asses while we were there. Until next time, buddy.